All righty. So for folks that missed last week, I wrote a song when I was in my early 20s. I actually wrote a poem in my early 20s. I was dating guys at that time that were not at all romantic. And I was trying to see where is the romance in these guys. And so I decided that it was in the little things. And it caused me to come up with this little poem. And I love this little poem. And I came up with a tune that, that I thought was nice, but I didn't know anything about music. I did not know chord progressions. I didn't know how to uh, actually put together an accompaniment. I didn't know anything. I just had a little song. And so I kept it in a drawer. And when I got my cue chord, you know, I've been learning more and more and more about music and tinkering with stuff and finally got up the, the confidence to put that into motion and I put chords to this song and so I unveiled it last week and um, because some of it of course is is about hubby because he was one of those guys <laughs> um, Baden is is has asked for it today cartridge one rhythm 27 at 6.2 for the speed 6.2 and I use the guitar on this just because it's kind of folksy kind of country Kinda. <laughs> okay, you call me babe. I've never been your better half, your honey or your dear. When you talk to me, you're simply honest. Sincere, I really have sweet nothings whispered softly in my ear. But every now and then, you call me babe. Who'd ever think a syllable could mean so very much? But it's the There we 
go. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he was like he was anti anti romance. He hated romance. <laughs> He wouldn't acknowledge um, Valentine's Day. He hated Valentine's Day. And then one year his mom read him the riot act and said, what do you mean you're not doing anything nice for this lady? <laughs> he was like, okay. <laughs> but he was making a social statement. He didn't like to be told, you know, when to be romantic. Of course, he was never romantic. <laughs> but he didn't want to be told. 